Five Officers Will Save Greece. This is an article first published 1st of November 2019. So this was from three years ago. And this is an icon of the military saints. We know that even St. George, St. Demetrius, St. Fanurius, uh, even St. Martin, the first Pope of Rome, were military saints. Uh, they, those that, of course, uh, went against the pagan Roman Empire's beliefs and uh, stood up for their belief in Christ. So uh, this publication, November 1st, 2019, they said, it said, there is not going to be a coup. Gone is a time when there were upheavals and revolutions and then we listed tragedies like what happened in Cyprus when Turkey took half the island in July of 1974. Something else will happen. This was conveyed to us without specifying it by many Christian Orthodox elders and fathers. Although today we feel something from what is taking place, instead we identify something very powerful, spiritual, that will shake us all. Kostandinos Vardakas writes, Our everyday life has become extremely dangerous when you read um, over 15,000 refugees, immigrants in a camp, more than 20 foreign immigrants attempted to block the road in uh, areas of, Cre of uh, Greece, in the car, professor candidate for regional council of uh, Katerina Fortiadu, unfortunately acted quickly, calmly was able to escape. However, as can be seen from her complaint, these incidents on the streets of Sufli happen over uh, very often and people are now afraid to move as it's clear that foreigners are setting up a kind of an ambush with unknown but obviously unfriendly purposes. Is it with these and so many other things that are happening? And of course, it's not only refugees issues and it's improper management. The smile of the citizens should not be lost as if we're living in a prolonged occupation. Obstacles stand in front of us and force us to search for something to find us as hope eagerly to support our next day. In these days, we experienced with the human uh, area of the big fires in uh, what many believe could have been uh, direct energy uh, uh, energy weapons in uh, north of Athens. We learned something shocking and we are bringing it back to the news now at the beginning of November to honor and reflect. A shepherd friend from Ayotico, today's afflicted island of Lesbos, that we met in the previous decades in our pilgrimage to what today was targeted by the geopolitical plans of the new era, the new age, becoming a breakwater of Europe in the refugee zones of despair and the nested nuclei of uh, jihadists. He confided to us the unbearable pain he has in his innermost souls, not being able to work comfortably as before, hence to carelessly graze his uh, sheep. This is a shepherd, is not careless anymore because of all the uh, influx of refugees coming from Turkey to the uh, Aegean islands of Greece. It was July 2018 when he told us, what can I tell you, brother? Where we said that wolves and jackals were eliminated, we found hungry people coming from the other side, from the coasts of Asia Minor, that is Western Turkey. If I tell you how many sheep I lost in the last months, you will wonder why I don't sell them and, and just quit and be quiet. But I love my animals, but also this land, and as you know, I always have with me in my jar oil, wicks, incense to light the chapels of the uh, little churches in the, in the island of Lesbos, Mytilini. The day before I went to the ruins, ruined monastery of St. Akindinos in Mistegna, the upper temple was closed, and I went to the lower temple near the sanctuary, the church, that is, the chapel. I was surprised that in the morning before the sun even rose, the candles were lit and the place had the fragrance of incense. A lad, an officer with a strange, straight appearance, was holding the incense, the censer and incensed the, the courtyard beyond the chapel. Well done, I said to myself, it must be some officer from the neighboring military unit who came to light the candles of the chapel. I happily approached him, greeting him. 
When I asked him what his name was, he told me, Akindinos, meaning harmless in Greek. When I understood that he came to worship the saint of the patron, Akindinos, because many of the islands bear that name, many of the, the islanders bear that name, I tried to be friendly with him, but he was serious. When I asked him where he came from, he answered sharply, from Persia. There I played it and thought cross, the thought crossed my mind. Maybe he is disguised as an officer from those who come to us from the secret services of the countries of the Middle East. But I still thought, if he was like that, would he tell me? I insisted that he, care, he clarify where exactly he's from, and he told me, I am from Persia, and so are my friends, and we know this place very well. Don't be upset with the current situation on the island. It will change soon. Five officers will save this and Greece, is what he said. With these last words, he disappeared like lightning from in front of me. My shepherd friend has an elder saint, a Christian Orthodox abbot, an elder saint, when he described this paradoxical event to him, told him that the one he saw was Saint Akindinos, as a matter of fact. As for the five officers who will save Greece, they are the five saints Akindinos, Akindinos, Pigasios, Anevodistos, Epidophoros, and Athonios, all of them officers from ships fr shipped, uh, well, coming over from Persia. The, la the island of Lesbos honors St. Akindinos, especially beyond the feast day of November 2nd, which, was, uh, which is today, St. Akindinos, especially beyond the, their feast day, November 2nd, but also on May 5th and 6th every year. In their holy church of Mistegna Lesbos in Mytilini, which is a single aisled basilica with a cruciform roof and is decorated with a beautiful wood-carved iconostasis, this historic church was built back in 1896. This is the uh, icon that's in that church and was the Catholicon of the monastery, which dates back to the last century. So this church was the main church of a monastery, which was there. Why did the officer who appeared in a paradoxical manner tell the shepherd that this, his origin is from Persia? Among the multitude of glorious and beautiful martyrs who sanctified their own lives for the love of Christ, they sacrificed their own lives for the love of Christ, a prominent position is held by the holy glorious martyrs Agindinos, Pegasius, Anevodistos, Elpidophoros, and Athonios, who were honored on November 2nd. These are the saints here on this, in this icon. These invincible athletes of the faith came from Persia, and were called upon to testify for Jesus Christ in the year 330 AD during the days of the king of the Persians, Savorius II. What impresses us is the fact that the honor of the five military saints, officials of Persian origins, especially on the island of Lesbos, Mytilini, which today accepts, in addition to the majority of refugees, nuclei with extreme Islamists with hatred for everything Christian, as well as the tyrant uh, torture Saint Akindinos King Savorius II. Honor Ayus Saint imitation as uh, the saint for this, and we quote their thorough uh, prayer from Mr. Haralabos Sardaridis. At that time, Savorius, the uh, tyrant of Persia, had unleashed relentless persecution against the Christians and Saints Akindinos. Pegasius and Evodistos were hiding in a house where they taught and spiritually guided the Christians, strengthening them in the faith. As soon as Savorius was informed of the Christian activity of the three martyrs, he ordered them to be brought before him and immediately asked them about their origin and profession. But they boldly professed their faith in the one and true God, which angered the tyrant Savorius, who ordered them to be beaten with sticks all over their bodies, but the saints with determination and patience endured the horrible tortures, praying to God. Seeing with wonder the mental strength of the martyrs, the tyrant ordered them to be hanged and burned until they surrendered their souls. But again, the three saints endured the fire thanks to the power of their prayer, 
and the miraculous grace of God, they managed to free themselves from the ropes and joyfully appear before Savorius, who, enraged, began to call them magicians. That's because Savorius, of course, couldn't explain how they escaped. Now, then Akindinos answered him that all the miraculous things that happened are the result of the miraculous powers of Jesus Christ, and in order to understand this, he told him that he would become deaf and dumb. So St. Akindinos prophesied that the tyrant Savorius would become deaf and dumb. St. Akindinos did not have time to finish his words, and Savorius could neither hear or speak. He only communicated with meanings. The three saints departed, and the tyrant acted as if possessed, for he was trying by means to order them to be bound, but none of the servants understood anything at all about what he was trying to, to signal to them. Then the saints began to pray to God to enlighten the tyrant and the rest, so that they may realize the error into which they have fallen. And then the angels appeared in the sky with an unusual brightness, but the tyrant remained impassive with the same cruelty. And then Akindinos, seeing his persistence in error, prayed that Savorius might regain his speech. The miracle was done, but again the king of the Persians, Savorius, full of malice and cruelty, ordered the servants to bring iron beds and light a fire underneath. Then they bound the martyrs who asked God to strengthen them in faith so that they could endure the torture, but also to enlighten those who watched the martyrdom of the saints. And then many confessed the omnipotence of God, for whom the three martyrs gladly accepted the tortures, while they asked them to pray for the forgiveness of their sins. After the prayer of the saints, there followed heavy rain with thunder and lightning, which caused terror to the unbelievers. But King Savorius of the Persians remained unrepentant and unmoved, and asked the martyrs to deny Christ and to sacrifice to the pagan idols. Then the saints entered the temple and knelt down to worship the true God, not Zeus, as the king expected. A great earthquake followed, during which the idol of Zeus was toppled and destroyed. Then Savorius was so enraged that he ordered the martyrs to be thrown in chains into a large cauldron of hot lead. The three saints glorified God and patiently accepted the martyrdom. The king, seeing that they had suffered absolutely nothing, spitefully plunged the three saints into the red-hot uh, lead, which burned his hands. Then the saints, by the grace of God, were freed from the chains and came out of the torments, safe and sound. One of the soldiers who were torturing the martyrs, named Aphthonius, saw the miracle and believed in Jesus Christ. Then Savorius tried with gifts and promises to bring him back to the religion of the idols, but his firm faith with his unwavering confession of the omnipotence of, one and of the one and true God led him to death by beheading according to the order of the king. In fact, the three saints strengthened him in his faith and encouraged him towards martyrdom, telling him that he is the first to deserve eternal divine glory. Savorius then ordered the martyrs to be put into sacks made of ox hides and thrown into the sea to drown, but the bags were torn and the saints were saved and presented to the king. And, and he then thought that the soldiers did not follow his orders and gave orders to throw them into the sea, after first cutting off their hands. Then the four executioners believed in Jesus Christ, and with their blessed end, they were numbered among the Lord's witnesses. Then St. Akindinus, Pigasius, and Anebodisos were taken to prison, and the king, enraged, called the senators, that is, the supreme rulers, to help him in exterminating these three martyrs. At this call of the king, two senators, Elpidophoros Foros and Philologos, accused the king with abusive expressions of his mercilessness and cruelty which led to their death. In fact, Elpidophoros belonged to the so-called crypto-Christians, King Savorius then ordered three pits to be opened and three martyrs thrown into them among beasts and reptiles. The saints prayed for God's help and angels brought the martyrs out of the pit safe and unharmed. But new tortures awaited them. They hanged them and began to tear their flesh, but still they endured it and with the, torture, the, the torture with determination and patience. Their unshakable faith in the Savior and Redeemer Christ and exceptional bravery attracted many princes and soldiers to worship the one and true God, who were then put to death by order of the king. 
Savorius tried again with threats, but also with gifts to convince the three athletes of God of the faith to abandon Christ and worship the lifeless idols. Their strong faith led them to prison in chains, while a red-hot furnace was prepared to throw them into. The king's hatred and cruelty even reached his own mother. When Aquindinos told him that his mother had rightly named him Savorius, which means father of demons. When his mother was even asked if his, this, his name really has that meaning, she answered in the affirmative, provoking the furious anger of the king, who also punched her. Seeing her son's fury, the mother asked God not to forgive his disrespect. In the meantime, the three witnesses standing in front of the red-hot furnace asked once more for God's mercy and help and called on the soldiers to throw them in. But they showed cowardice, and after taking courage from the confession of faith of the three saints, they made the sign of the cross, and twenty-eight soldiers fell into the furnace together with the three saints in the king and the king's mother. From the red-hot furnace appeared a dance of angels, who received their souls and handed them over to the judge and arbiter of God, while an indescribable fragrance engulfed the whole place. So on November 2nd, 330 A.D., ended the earthly action of the three glorious and beautiful athletes of the faith to be honored and glorified immediately by Christians together with fellow athletes Aphthonius and Elpidophorus. The games and glorious martyrdom of the five sporting martyrs, the athletes of God of the 4th century AD, who are known to be by the nickname Harmless Saints, are praised and praised also through the hymns and which have been composed in their honor, while their venerable honor in the Christian Greek saints arena is also important. The glorious and beautiful martyrs from Persia are especially honored in the island of Lesbos Mytilini, northern Aegean, since there are a total of five holy temples named after them, located in Mistegna, Eresos, Varia, Mykos, and the city of Mytilini, next to the majestic temple of St. Therapon. Indeed, only saints safe can... Uh, can save dangerous Greece from most of the dangers that surround us and are already acting. Uh, well, well done. Uh, this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Of course, all Christians have the saints of God helping them without even knowing that the saints of God are helping us. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.